One of the unique values and properties of a good cryptocurrency is a fixed maximum supply. This is in complete contrast to what we see in our fiat currencies, where supply is infinite and money printing has become more frequent over the last 10 years. So what I want to do in this video is delve into the coin supply of Decred and how it can position itself not only against other cryptocurrencies, but also against the legacy banking system. Decred has a maximum supply of 21 million coins, similar to that of Bitcoin. These coins are mined into existence every five minutes until the full supply is realized in 2120. Unlike Bitcoin, Decred doesn't have a dramatic supply shock. Instead of halving every four years, Decred reduces its mining reward every 21 days by less than 1% of the current reward. By 2027, the bulk of the supply will be in circulation, approximately 19 million. The remaining 2 million coins will produce slowly over the next 100 years. When the coin supply slows down in 2027, we'll start to see how a low inflation currency can hold up to the promise so many of us believe. To align incentives and drive the Decred project forward, the block reward is split three ways. 60% plus block fees go to POW miners for securing the system and offsetting the expense of hardware and electricity cost. Now and into the future. 30% goes to POS ticket holders for validating the mining work and voting on governance issues and proposals. And then 10% goes to the Decred Treasury to help fund the development and public awareness of the project. Satoshi Nakamoto explained, by having a fixed maximum supply of around 21 million coins, it will mean that even if the project remains relatively small, it will be able to maintain its value, making it more stable as it grows over time. They also went on to say that if the project did remain in a niche market, they would expect a coin value of 0.001 to be equal to $1 which would give each coin a value of approximately $1,000. With such a low supply, how can Decred become a world currency? It's important to realize that a single DCR coin is made up of 100 million atoms. This means that at any time you can buy, earn, sell, use or trade a small fraction of a coin. A common cryptocurrency misconception is that you need to buy whole coins this is not the case. A single purchase just needs to be higher than the mining fee associated with each transaction. In Decred's case, this is normally around 4,000 atoms, which is currently less than a penny. As time moves forward, we will see a change in how we think about each common unit. For instance, in, in 2020, we would have used 1,500 DCR to buy a £15,000 car. In 2021, we would use 100 DCR to buy a £15,000 car. And in 2026, possibly, we would use 0.5 DCR to buy a £15,000 car. As the project grows and it gains more users and use cases, we can turn this calculation on its head and start thinking about atoms rather than DCR. For example, instead of saying 0.0001 DCR, we can say 10,000 atoms which makes a lot more sense to most people. The niche market just means small community. Based on some simple transaction calculations and individual user frequency, you can reasonably assume that a niche market for Decred to gain and maintain a value of 0.001 to $1 would be between 70,000 and 100,000 transactions each month. Now, this calculation does disregard user and chart manipulation and assumes honest user behavior. Decred's current development cycle and ethical direction makes it a good contender to build a loyal following of users that want to hold their value in the coin for the long term. You're unlikely to see mass adoption in the short term due to the way crypto markets have been heavily manipulated by projects claiming to be the next big thing, centralized exchanges manipulating price action, and penny stock projects objectively appearing to be cheaper alternatives for new participants. Instead, Decred will grow slowly, quietly, and strongly in the background. 
If you have a long-term horizon for your investment strategy, it's easy to see that Decred is unique in this space and has a bright future with the possibility of becoming one of the global currencies or maybe even something bigger. Decred's currency is also used by stakeholders to help secure the protocol. At any given time, more than 50% of the total supply of DCR will be locked up for staking rewards and to vote on governance for the Decred system. This is a use case that adds value to the project, puts the coins to use on a frequent basis and helps reduce the available supply. Stakeholders are encouraged to act responsibly due to the fact that the lockup time for these coins can be up to 142 days. Due to the fixed coin supply and stakeholder governance system, Decred will continue to develop long into the future, creating the developments the space so desperately needs to remain decentralized.